to start with you, um, Emma, right? So you're an architect, right? So that's how you started. Um, you are in the real estate industry. Um, and we know real estate is something that is true and well-tested asset class, right? So for us, we're in the investment world, we're always telling people you need to have real estate in your investment portfolio. But the challenge, and especially for the DAFRA, is we have seen many people try to come into this space, but many people have failed, right? Even though we've had some successes. But what can you share with us about your thoughts? What do you think the DAFRA needs to do differently when they decide to invest in the real estate? on the continent. And can you share some of those insights from the book you wrote, like I mentioned, Building in Kenya, which was very interesting. Can you just tell us what are the best practices that you think someone who is in the diaspora that they need to really think about when they're investing on the continent? Yeah, th thank you so much, Anne. And um, um, I mean, you said it, uh, I think uh, all Africans, maybe from a sense of, uh, uh, We've always built, you know, people, just one generation of uh, our grandparents and maybe part of even some of our parents built their own houses. You know, you built, you, you it was a community effort. So I think the way uh, Africans are tied to land is the way Africans are tied to what in Kenya, uh, in Kiswahili, we call Njengo. We just love it, you know, whether it makes financial sense or not, we love real estate. But you also said something very important, and I don't know whether the um, you know, I can be allowed to share my screen, uh, but um, real estate is a very, um, a, a very sound investment um, if 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 done correctly. I think I'll just quote one uh, Franklin Roosevelt who says, "Real estate cannot be lost or stolen, cannot be carried away, cannot be, and if purchased with common sense and paid for in full and managed with reasonable care, it's about the safest investment in the world." And I think. Uh, that is true. Many times we've seen with all the fads that come and go, um, uh, investing in, in in building is one of the most sound and you, know, you actually see what, what your investment is and it appreciates the need for housing. As long as, you know, people are still popping them babies, we're going to, we're going to need housing, you know? Um, um, but, but the thing is, 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 is if, if, if done with common sense, so that's a, that's a catch. And I think, um, you said it, that there's been a lot of, um, you know, uh, so many cases across, uh, at least in the Kenyan sector, not only of diaspora, but even just even locals, when, when we're investing in real estate and, um, you know, um, looking and seeing what options, um, what options do I have? It's very important to, first of all, analyze your situation, analyze your situation in the sense of why am I, why do I want to invest in, in real estate? Who am I in terms of personality? Um, and 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 in the in the book and many presentations we do we, we almost you almost need to assess your personality and your risk appetite before you jump into uh, real estate investment. Do I have the time? Because it's a very you said capital intensive, but it's also very resource uh, in, 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 in intensive if you're going to actually do the construction and and do a real estate development project. Um, so much more if you're doing it remotely from from um, you know from from the diaspora. What am I going to invest in? You know, because there's so many ways to invest in real estate. You don't have to actually be the one having to, you know, look for an architect, um, you know, buy the land. There are many products out there that may match your personality. So you have to really ask yourself and, and see what's my risk appetite? Um, who am I and what kind of time do I have on my hands? Um, can I take a break and a sabbatical from my work for a year to come and 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 you know and and, and just really do my do my due diligence before I invest in something or um, um, and and how should I invest? So very fundamental questions um, when you're you know investing in in real estate. Um, of course, the usual. Let me just share my my screen. Thank you to the host. Can you see my screen? Yes, it looks like it's coming up. Yes. Okay, great. So, so looking at why am I investing and which one is for me? Am I doing it for the brand? You know, um, uh, a lot of us, a lot of diasporans, uh, sometimes will do it just to, um, you know, invest in something, trying to build something so that you you can show people. Eh? I'm saying in Kiswahili, which means, uh, you know, I've I've gone abroad, I've made it, um, because everybody expects that of you. Why are you doing what you're doing? Are you doing it for shelter? Um, in terms of, is it something that you want to, uh, when you want to come back home? You want to have a, a roof over your head or, or you want a roof over, over your, 
you know, relatives or parents had, you know? So why am I, why am I, why am I doing this real estate investment? Uh, what kind of need is it meeting? What returns am I looking for? And, and therefore, when you, when you ask yourself, which one is for me, um, you know, is it a long term? Uh, um, am I looking at it for long term? Am I looking at a self-actualization? You know, I have made it, you know, I, I want a house. It doesn't have to really make a lot of, um, you know, uh, financial sense in that sense, because what, what it's um, uh, the buttons that, uh, uh, that uh, and, and what it's hitting from, for each person is, is different because I want that sense of uh, having a roof of my health. It may not make financial sense. It's purely an emotional and emotive um, matter. Ego brand, I said that, you know, some, you know, or, um, a, a lot of this, and we use this in, in, in Kenya sometimes, like if I want to launch, launch my political career, first thing you must build a mansion, you know, that shows that you can, you can run something, you know, so sometimes people do it for that. Uh, am I looking, you know, short term, quick income, then, then, my, then the, dynamic, the dy dynamics, they are very different. And what if none of this is for you in terms of um, um, I, how can I then invest in real estate without any of these, uh, you know, uh, challenges that may be might, might present themselves, and there are many many products. Um, so, so the question really then is, will I buy? Will I build? If I'm doing it from the diaspora, and and there there the, the risks um, uh, on both sides, um, um, and um, equally uh, a lot of potential on both sides. So that's a fundamental question, uh, and why and how and what uh, am I doing this for? Um, so, so basically, uh, in terms of the book, uh, Building in Kenya, we've looked at it from a perspective uh, of someone who wants to develop them yeah? and, and, looking, and looking at the personality and what factors do you have to consider. When you're, from, when you're you know, uh, doing this from, a, um, from, from abroad, it can be very challenging. All of us have stories of, or have had stories of people putting in their money and, um, and hoping and trusting uh, people back home to be able to manage that process for you. And that may not always be practical. So you really have to ask, am I, am I, am I, am I gonna do the building myself? Do I have the time and resources to manage all these people? If you look at that, you've got all these factors to consider uh, when you're doing real estate. You've got all the cycle and the book goes into this, you know, um, identifying land and, and we all know also land buying is, is um, and, and due diligence that's required from that um, is very intensive. Um, the business case for it, uh, going back to why am I doing this? Does it make sense? If it does not make sense, if there are much better ways of making a quick buck, then don't, 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 don't in safer and better ways for you in terms of your circumstances, then maybe real estate development is not for you. So some fundamental questions to ask uh, uh, is, is, is from a diaspora perspective, um, the distance, is it feasible for me to, to, to be a real estate developer in terms of managing the process hand on hand, or is buying a more viable option for me? For, for me? Am I able to adequately carry out due diligence? Even when you're buying, because you do have to do diligence if you're buying um, and ensuring that, um, you know, um, the, the buildings have been put up on land that's been acquired, um, you know, in the correct manner. So, so maybe buying would suit you better uh, as someone in the diaspora, but there's certainly many questions around that. And Anne, I'm sure I'll get another chance to just delve into uh, what, what then you need to think about when you're buying and the opportunities available in that regard. But thank you for, for that. Thank you.